When you first started on this case, would you have ever imagined it would end up to where it is right now? No. When I got into work that day, we were getting word that this 46-year-old um, doctor was dead. This beloved woman in our community had been brutally killed inside her own house. And then once you started to unwrap it a little bit, it was nutty, it was weird, and it was hard to keep track of it all. So this is Dr. Teresa Sievers, high-profile doctor, did a lot of holistic medicine, and people, uh, you know, said that she was just a little spitfire, just a short little thing, and always wearing, you know, four-inch heels, clack clacking around. I would describe her as radiant, almost. She had a column that appeared in my newspaper, and she was on the front of local magazines. Ladies. Remember when walking into a room meant turning heads? She was telegenic, energetic, she's funny. And who's this? Teresa and Mark at a gala. Mark and Teresa have been a couple since 2003 uh, when they got married in a beachside ceremony in St. Petersburg. She was sort of the breadwinner and he was the office manager uh, at her practice and he helped raise the kids. They had a trip planned to New York to spend the whole weekend with her brothers and sisters and her mom, and Teresa would fly home that Sunday night to be at work Monday morning to open up her practice. So on Sunday night, she comes back here to the Southwest Florida International Airport. There's security footage of her rolling her suitcase through the, the terminal. She calls Mark, tells him she's safe, and then gets in her car and heads back to their house. The next morning, uh, her office staff got in. It's now 9 o'clock. Now it's 9.05. Now it's 9.15. I said, where's doctor? I was texting back and forth trying to see if, you know, where are you at? And no response called, no answer. Mark's out of town. He says, I can't get a hold of her either. How unusual was it for Dr. Sievers not to show up? Even if it was nine o'clock and three seconds after, you would hear her heels coming in. 911, what is your emergency? Uh, I'm, at, I'm at a friend's house. Mark had a friend come and check up on her. Uh, he's out of town and she's dead on the floor. And there's a hammer at the side and she's dashed in the back of the head. And do you know how many times she was hit? 17. I came home from work and I looked up at the television and my heart dropped and I thought, this is my son's house and his wife and their two children who is dead. When you first heard how Teresa died, what did you think? Must be some madman out there. Who was this? Where did they come from? Why would they do such a thing? <laughs> 